Well, hey, everybody, this is Eric Stark with Radio Arizona RV, and today is episode number 46, and the topic of our episode today is going to be untangling the confusion surrounding sewer hoses. And that might seem pretty simple, but actually it's a little more complex. Um, for some people, I think they get sewer hoses. They've kind of made it a little part of their RV lifestyle where they, they know what they need. They know what their RV needs. They know how it works at the park. And so it's not really a big deal to them. They come in, they buy what they want, and they go out the door and they're on their way. But for others, they don't understand it. Maybe they just have never familiarized themselves with it. Maybe they're new to RVing. Maybe someone's always done it for them in the past. Maybe, you know, a spouse did it and that spouse died and now that person's responsible for it. So it can be a little daunting. And, you know, with uh, the world the way it is today, there's not just one flavor of anything anymore or two flavors. And to illustrate that, if you think about going into a grocery store, you know, you go down, let's say, the liquor aisle. You know, the vodka, there's not just one flavor of vodka anymore there's a hundred different flavors you know and the same with candy you know look at m&ms you know they're not just one type of m&ms or two types of m&ms there's a multiple type of m&ms and it's the same with sewer hoses it's, you have different flavors if you will not that we're going to stick our tongue on a sewer hose and taste it out but i think you get the drift here that you know there's different there's choices there's different options and each manufacturer, such as Volterra, they have different configurations of their sewer hoses. Same with Camco, Thetford. So it makes it a little more confusing. And then if the store has, you know, four or five brands, that even adds to the confusion. So I'm going to try to simplify this and help you out here. Um, so you're not as <laughs> naive, I guess, um, going into a store so you can kind of go in with a little bit of information, um, even if you do a little research in advance. But, you know, I get it. People don't all under, you know, understand it, and so they need some help. It's, you know, I mean, we're all, we all face this with certain things in our life. We, we need help getting through it. And a sewer hose is not complicated, but it's an important part of RVing. You have to have a sewer hose to empty your holding tank. Unless you're really old school and you really want to save some money and you want to just get a five-gallon bucket and do it five gallons at a time, you know, that's pretty uh, interesting, but I don't think anybody really wants to do that. Even the person who doesn't want to spend any money will buy a sewer hose, even if it's the cheapest one you can get, because they realize it's a must. you got to have a sewer hose. And, you know, the, the sewer hoses today, I mean, they're kind of designed different. They're designed for the RVer who's probably using it more often. Uh, most of the brands or the types you can get are better quality than what we're what you used to be able to get, um, you know, years ago, 15 years ago, sewer hoses were just kind of one quality or two qualities, you know, bad and not so bad. And then maybe good or not so good every, how you want to categorize it. And they didn't come with fittings. You'd buy a hose, buy a fittings, two clamps and away you go. It's changed a lot. Now you buy kits. It's just easier to buy a kit with the sewer hose, with the fittings already on it. And generally it's a good investment. Now, I'm a fan of Volterra. I think um, just about everything Volterra makes are pretty good products. They do make some duds here and there, just like everybody else. But overall, they make good products, and their sewer hoses fall into that category, good products. They've been making sanitation products for decades. And Presto Fit's another one who's been making sanitation products for decades. They've been around a long time. And both of them, good quality, good companies. You know, they, they take care of their customers, which is you. So when you buy things, you do have a warranty. Not that sewer hoses very often get returned because of defects. Um, I think most people throw them away and move on. They don't want to drag a sewer hose around with them. Some people do. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine what the, the parts counter looks like after a sewer hose gets returned, right? It's slap it down and say this thing's defective and splatter everywhere it's it's a sight to see but hopefully you're not one that does that but occasionally you will buy a 50 60 dollar sewer hose that has a problem you need to return it well do what you got to do you know money's money and i understand that but anyway back to the sewer hoses now it seems more confusing than it really is most of the kits these days are going to work with your rv you buy a kit let's say it's a 20 foot dominator or a 50, yeah, 20-foot dominator. They do have a 20-foot kit. 
if you have a, a normal RV, nothing crazy has gone on with it, and you go to a normal campground, you should be able to take that 20-foot kit, hook it up to your RV, hook it up to the ground, and be done with it. It's that simple. The confusion comes in when the RV has been modified or the RV park is an old one or you're not sure of what you need. Let me go back to the old RV park. Some old RV parks have, you know, you just set the, the fitting in the ground. Some parks you screw the fitting into the ground. But ultimately, if something's going in the ground, in Volterra, Camco, Thetford, um, Duraflex, they all have it kind of figured out. It's not that complicated. I think um, we make it more complicated because we look at the variety of hoses there are. So if you haven't modified your RV and it has the regular lugs on it for a bayonet connection, which is what all sewer hoses have, it hooks onto the to the waste valve basically there's a fitting on the waste valve it pushes on and twists it, that's it it's done then you set the fitting in the ground or you screw it into the ground and hook the sewer hose up to it depending on how what the RV park is pretty straightforward so looking at what you have a lot of people from my experience they don't really pay attention to what the park has and then it's multiple trips to the RV store they're confused they're frustrated and I get it because you don't want to go back and forth, but the parks are pretty standard. And you might even ask them, hey, you know, if I buy a Volterra sewer hose, will it work? Or do you, are your sewer fittings standard? Is it a three-inch thread? What do you have? Is it just a pipe that we set something in? But modern sewer hoses are designed to work with just about anything. And now some RVs, though, are a little bit different. They might have a black tank and a gray tank that aren't next to each other. So you might require two sewer hoses, one hooking up to the black tank, one hooking up to the gray tank, and then they come together into a Y. And then from that Y, you have a hose going into the ground. And that's pretty normal. That's not a big deal. Or, you know, you can Y it anywhere you want. But basically, you know, you're going to have two of them come together in a Y. And then from that Y, you have a hose going into the ground. That's a pretty common configuration when the holding tanks um, have separate valves. If the holding tanks share a valve right next to each other or they dump into one fitting, you know, the gray tank, the black tank come together into one fitting, then you just need one sewer hose that goes right into the ground. Now, the quality, too, is another issue. The How they hook up is pretty straightforward. If you trust the guy at the RV store or the girl, you trust them, they should know what they're doing. They should be able to explain to you what you need as far as just your standard hookups. If you've modified it or something that is different, then you know all bets are off. Then you go, then you take it from there and see what you need to do to correct it. And I would highly advise making it so it's normal, the standard type of sewer hose connection. So down the road, you never have to fuss with it again. You can buy a hose, buy a fitting, and it's going to work. Now there's different qualities. Now Volterra, I think, has the highest variety of quality. There are different uh, different types of quality. They have a sewer hose called the Viper. They have the Silverback. They have the Dominator. They have the Easy Coupler system. And the order I said them is about how the quality goes, from really good to okay. Now, the Viper, they say it's virtually indestructible. And it's a pretty tough hose. It's 25 millimeter. Then wrapped around the hose is a bead. For each coil, there's a bead, and the bead's 135 millimeter. So this thing's really designed to just be drug across the ground. You know, you can step on it. There's all these things you can do to it, and it kind of goes back to its shape. It's not going to, uh, you're not going to tear through it nearly as easy as you would any other uh, vinyl sewer hose. And we sell a lot of the Vipers. They are more expensive. You know, you can get up into the $100 range easy for a 20-foot sewer hose, but that's the hose, that's the fittings, that's everything you need. It's a kit. And then you're done with it. Um, it's going to be years before you replace that unless you lose it. It's not going to last you forever, but it's going to last a long time. And then their silver back is a, you know, it's a lesser version of the, of the Viper. It has a hundred millimeter protective ring. The sewer hose itself is almost the same It's 24 millimeter, but that protective ring isn't nearly as much, but it's still pretty substantial protective ring around the hose. And that's where, you know, the hoses rub through. The ring's on that spot where any sewer hose is going to run through basically where the spring is in it or where it coils or collapses. You know, that's the, 
it's the most uh, exposed spot, you know, for gravel, concrete, and that's where it'll start to leak because it rubs through there the easiest. Then they have the dominator. Now, the dominator's um, a pretty darn good hose, and it's very similar to the Camco's version of it. Uh, Camco has several different hoses, all the same style as the dominator. They're the hoses that, you know, you pull them apart, they stay in that position. You know, you can bend them, twist them, and they, they just hold that shape. Same with Duraflex. PrestoFit has a version of it. They're Durafoam premium sewer hose. Everybody seems to have a version of this. Thetford, that's their sewer hose. The Titan is that same type of system. And looking through the catalogs, none of them list the millimeter on it. Now, I haven't checked all the packaging. Um, but those particular hoses, are the Dominator, the Camco, and Duraflex, I'm looking for the Camco name here. The Rhino Flex is the Camco one. And they have Revolution. They have different ones, but they're all very similar. And they, you know, the Camco ones have different fittings depending on which one you buy, but they're very similar sewer hoses. So the Dominator, the Camco um, Rhino Flex, the Thetford Titan, those hoses are all very similar. They're good quality. So if you really don't want to spend the big bucks, on the Viper type hose, then if you go with the Dominator, Rhino Flex type hose, the Titan type hose, you're going to spend, it's mid range. You're not going to spend a fortune. It's not going to be the cheapest, but you're going to get a good quality hose. And if you watch out and you take care of it and don't dag, drag it across the gravel or concrete, you know, if you're a little conscious of it, it'll last for years. Um, I tested one of those on my RV that was at my house in the Arizona sun. Just threw it down, left it, and it was in service for about three years. And that's pretty darn good because um, I've tried other hoses. You know, owning an RV store, I just grab something off the shelf. It's cheap, throw it on there, but they don't last. And you do that a few times, it's like, wow, what a waste of money that was. So they do hold up. They work really well. But if you're really concerned about it, you can spend that extra money to get the better hose. Now, each one of these hoses kind of has their own fitting system and that's where a little more confusion comes in they're not interchangeable you're not going to use a camco with a voltaire you're not going to use a titan with a camco you're not going to use a duraflex with a this and a that some portions of it might connect together but where they have to seal that's where the the rub is it might not seal correctly so i recommend going with one brand and sticking with it and making that your brand of choice and then if you need a, to extend it down the road, let's say you have a Titan and you have a 15-foot system and all of a sudden you need to go 25 feet. Well, you can go buy a 10-foot extension hose. has the fittings on it, everything you need, and it goes right into line with your 15-foot hose. You don't have to change a thing. You're not buying extra fittings. You're not taking fittings out, storing them, or throwing them away. It makes it a dream. It makes it simple. You know, and you're dealing with sewage, it's already kind of a crappy job, if you know what I mean. So you want to make it a little bit nicer, easier, <laughs> and you're done with it. Although, you know, I kind of make light of that, but, you know, it is sewer, sewage, and you need to get it out of the RV, so it is important. But stick with one brand. And, you know, everybody has their favorites. Like Presto Fit, they have a cool system. You know, I'm looking at this. And I've sold it in the past, not only in my store. I sell it now in my store. I sold it when I was distributing RV parts. And it's a unique system. It's pretty simple. And it's one of these, it came about before everybody else was making kits. I'm pretty sure PrestoFit was the first guy out with a kit. And it's um, <clears throat> pretty simple. It's easy. It's straightforward. It's not confusing. And you can keep adding to it. You know, it's just you have to keep buying the PrestoFit brand. And, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward. But it's not as popular of a sewer hose. Um, for whatever reason, there's the other ones seem to sell better. And I'm not knocking the Presto Fit. Don't get me wrong here. In fact, I think all of the brands that are available, for the most part, that are in the mainstream RV stores, the mainstream catalogs available to the RV stores, are quality products. They're not junk. You know, they like Volterra, they do sell some low-end sewer hoses, but it's not part of the kit system. It's just a hose. And Volterra has always had different um, qualities, you know, garbage. You know, kind of like the sewer hose you get when you buy an RV. You get that starter kit. That's the cheapest possible sewer hose money can buy. 
you know, the starter kit is just, it's a joke. <laughs> and you probably bought many RVs and got many starter kits. You know, there's a few things in them sometimes that are good, but it's a starter kit. That's all it is. You know, and sewer hoses are the bottom of the barrel. They want the cheapest sewer hose possible. So Volterra has always been a good provider of that cheap sewer hose, but they also make great sewer hoses like their, their uh, Viper, like I talked about. But now Viper, or excuse me, um, Volterra seems to, when they get into something, they kind of get into it all in, and they have a ton of fittings. They have fittings galore, and they've kind of been the king of different fittings for sewer hoses, emptying your holding tanks. So if you need a Y, Volterra has the Y. So you're going to want to buy one of their sewer hoses because it's going to work with their Y. And now I haven't checked every sewer hose with the different types of fittings to make sure that they aren't compatible. But the way the seals are and kind of everybody in their proprietary mind today, they're not inter- not going to be too interchangeable. Camco has a Y as well for their Rhino Flex system. But Volterra really has it covered when it comes to fittings. And that's one of the reasons why I like Volterra. You buy the Volterra hoses. You have a great selection of fittings. You have the red fittings, which that's kind of their trademark color. And they have the clear fittings. So, hey, if you want to see, you know, how your diet looks when you empty your holding tank, they have the clear fittings so you can get a bird's eye view into what's coming out of your holding tank. You know, you'll see that that corn's not digested. (laughs) You see it all. If you don't want to see it, buy a red fitting. But. You know, I, I knocked that, but really you can see if it's liquefied or not. So you can see if your holding tank product's working as well, or if, or if nothing comes out or very little comes out. So it's not just to check your dietary, uh, you know, what's happening on your body there, but, uh, you can see what's happening in your holding tank. So they have the fittings, they have the selection. And that's one of the reasons why I like Volterra. Not only the quality, it's just, they have the selection of fittings and, They probably have the best selection. Not probably. I'm going to say they do. And Camco has some different fittings. They have some choices there. Um, It's not as extensive as Volterra. So, you know, when you look at this, don't overcomplicate it. When you walk into the store, if you see that there's three brands, just maybe focus on a brand. Get your eyes adjusted to one brand. Ask for some help. What's the difference between these two brands or, you know, these two hoses, these three hoses? Look at the price. The price is probably just going to tell you which is which hose is better, which hose is worse. It's pretty straightforward. It is truly one of those things, the more you spend, the better off you're going to be. You're going to get a better quality hose. And I don't want to forget Lippert Components. They have a system called the Wastemaster, and it looks pretty cool. It's um, what I think of. Is Thetford, I believe, used to have something like this. Maybe they bought it from Thetford. It's a green hose, green fitting. And if you've ever been to a gas station when they're filling the tanks, you know, you got the semi there with the big, you know, tanks refilling the gas station. They pull out those big hoses. They're like, you know, maybe five inches diameter. And they have a connector they push into the ground. It kind of fits in and locks into place. Well, that's what the Wastemaster one looks like. This is by Lippert, in case you didn't catch that. So it locks in and it kind of makes that snug fit. And it's a nice looking hose. Um, it doesn't look like they have all the fittings, but maybe some of these fittings interchange with Volterra or Camco. I'm not 100% on that. But for a normal, typical, I shouldn't say normal, a typical hookup system, the Wastemaster will probably work in 9 out of 10 times. So that's a pretty sure bet. And it's a nice hose, and the way it connects is pretty cool. You know, Like I said, the way it connects to the ground is nice. Then they have another system called the flow down, which is very similar to that. It's, it spikes into the ground to hold that in place in the sewer hose, or uh, excuse me, at the campground where it goes to where your sewer hose goes into the ground. Because that is one thing you don't want. You don't want your sewer hose to pop out of the, the ground connector, the ground fitting, and have you know waste going everywhere, especially if it's your black water and you're having to be emptying the black water tank. You know, gray water is a lot more palatable and easier to deal with, but black water gets really ugly. That's why most RV parks don't let you work on your holding tanks while you're there because if something goes wrong, it gets ugly quick. Now, I've probably covered this. I mean, it's sewer hoses. You can only spend so much time on it. But just as a refresher, you have Volterra, you have PrestoFit, 
Camco, Thetford, Lippert Components, and Duraflex. Those are kind of your mainstream brands today. Now, whichever brand you choose, whichever brand you have, you're probably going to be okay. It's just they're the varying qualities. Like Voltaire, like I said, has the Viper line. That's the high-end one. Then the Dominator and the Rhino Flex. So those are kind of mid-range, but they're good hoses. So don't throw away what you have. Rush out buying a new. Just remember to buy what you already have. If you have Volterra, continue to buy Volterra. And you know what helps, too, as I'm talking here, you know, things come to mind, is taking pictures of your setup, maybe your RV and the park if you're at, if you have problems, if you're going to go in and buy a sewer hose. Take a picture of the ground connection. Take a picture of the RV. It only takes a second. We all have smartphones anymore. And then you show the parts guy, this is what I have. Oh, no problem. Then you just need to determine the length. And even a picture will help identify that hose. If the guy says, well, what brand do you have? Maybe you're trying to add on a 10-foot section. Well, you pull out a picture, and this is what I have, because they're all their own different colors. Everybody has you know, their special colors to identify their brand. And then you can get what you need, and you're not buying something, trying to make it work, think it'll work, having to return it. it you know, it cuts out frustration. And I highly recommend taking pictures of everything. I've said this in other episodes. Take pictures. Pictures are worth a thousand words, if you've never heard that one. But, you know, you go to the RV store, not everything is looked up by your RV. So when you take pictures... There you go. There it is. Now, sometimes you might have to take some measurements as well. And with a lot of smartphones and the apps, you can get, you can draw right on that picture, you know, so you can make, take a picture, do your measurements, monitor, or edit the, the picture with those measurements and bam, you take it to the store, show it to the guy. This is what I have. These are the dimensions and keeping track of stuff. So if you don't want to do that, you know, get an app, use Evernote or Trello apps where you can use it on your smartphone and your computer and keep notes of, of things for your RV. And the more notes you have, the better it is. You know, I use both of those. I use Evernote for all my home type stuff, use Trello for all my work stuff. In fact, I use it for a ton of different things. And it's internet based. So I can do it on my computer. It goes to a website. Then I go in a store. I need to look something up. I open up my smartphone and bam, there it is. There's my information. It's all synced all the time. So you look a lot smarter, too, when you go to an RV store and you're all prepared. You know, they think, wow, look at this guy. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, we got him fooled, right? No, but seriously, use your phones. Use technology to help you. It, it cuts out so much frustration. I mean, everything we do with warranty anymore, we send them pictures. We take, you know, right off of smartphones, customers take a picture, text it to me, and bam, we forward it to Dometic, Lippert, whoever it might be. If I'm out in a store, I need to show somebody something because I can't explain it. I just show them a picture, and I take pictures of everything. Why not? They're free. We don't have to go to that drive through Kodak booth anymore. All right, so I've pushed that. So sewer hoses, taking pictures. So that's what the episode's about today. So I hope that untangled some of the confusion. You know, basically sewer hoses all hook up the same if you have a standard configuration. RV parks pretty much are not identical, but the, the fitting that goes in the ground, pretty much all the same. There are some variations, but not much. And Volterra kind of has it dialed in, Camco, Presto Fit. So make a wise choice when you go to the RV store. Ask for help. If you can't sort it out, depending on how they have their hoses laid out, it might be even more confusing. But ask for help and figure out which sewer hose you need and buy that. And remember, if you don't need a high-quality one, don't buy it. But if you want to buy a sewer hose that's going to last you for years and years, spend the extra money, you know, because it, it all adds up. Pay that money up front. So, hey, I want to thank you for listening, and I encourage you to go to Radio Arizona RV and sign up for my newsletter. I haven't been sending any out. I'm working on it. Um, I don't want to send out junk, but I'm going to start sending them out for new episodes products that we're adding to our system. You know, there's a lot of things happening all the time, and that's where the newsletter really makes it easier for me to keep you informed on what's going on. So go to Radio Arizona RV and sign up for the newsletter there. In fact, on all of our websites, you can sign up for a newsletter pertaining to each website. 
end of the day, though, they're all RV-related websites, but we do keep them separated, and we won't send you spam. So check it out, Radio Arizona RV. And I want to thank you again for listening, and this is Eric Stark with Radio Arizona RV.